Good morning. Welcome to your channel English para tu vida. In this part, we are going to do the revision of all the questions that we have been checking in the last two videos. Bienvenido a tu canal Inglés para tu vida. En esta clase vamos a repasar todas las preguntas de una sola vez que hemos revisado en los dos videos anteriores. ¿Ok? Let's see. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. What's your name? My name is Aurora. What's your surname? My surname is Gonzalez. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I'm 26 years old. Are you married? No, I'm single. What's your telephone number? It's 902-376-22. What's your email address? My email address is gtv at hotmail.com. What's your job? I'm a student. Where are you from? I'm from Mexico. Mm -hmm. What's your nationality? I'm Mexican. Have you got a car? No, I haven't got a car. Have you got a son? Yes, I've got a son. Very good. Now I am going to ask you the questions, como si yo estuviera interactuando con ustedes, yo les voy a hacer las preguntas y ustedes lo responden con su información real. Ok? Let's start. Good morning, how are you? What's your name? What's your surname? How old are you? Are you married? What's your telephone number? What's your email address? What's your job? Where are you from? What's your nationality? Have you got a car? Have you got a son? Mm -hmm. Now let's pretend, ahora vamos a imaginar que ustedes me hacen la pregunta a mí y yo respondo. Ok? I'm fine, thanks. My name is Gisela. My surname is Vega. I'm 43 years old. Yes, I am married. Mm, it's 947-228-1093. My email address is inglesparatuvida at gmail.com. I'm a teacher. I'm from Peru. I'm Peruvian. Yes, I've got a car. No, I haven't got a son. Okay? Very good. So, what are we doing here? Lo que hemos hecho aquí es recapitular una parte de todo lo aprendido. Ya estamos incluyendo el have, las preguntas con have para possession, preguntas con presente simple, Questions about personal information, questions about nationality, questions about our age, preguntas de nacionalidad, de nuestra edad, que ya hemos visto en videos anteriores. Nos faltaría reforzar un poquito más con las preguntas de have, has y con el tema de la familia, que también ya lo vimos previamente. ¿Ok? So, don't forget to keep on practicing English. No olviden de seguir practicando el inglés. Suscríbanse a este su canal, Inglés para tu Vida, y no olvide darle clic en el botón de me gusta. Bye, have a very nice day.